Hi again. In this video we continue to learn for continuous for axis milling in SportCam. Uh, in the previous video I show how to use rotary machining operation and right now we will uh, we will uh, look another way for machining. Uh, it is uh, rotary machining tool pass. Uh, it is uh, very interesting, uh, maybe very strange way. Use 2D contouring operation for continuous four axis machining. It is strange, but it, it is true. I create this kind of operation. So, uh, th to make 2D contouring operation usable for the continuous four axis, we have to define base surface. Uh, to do it, choose job assignment and click base surface. At that, I click any cylindrical part on my model. For example, I will use this part, yes, uh, this cylinder, the bottom of the slot. Okay, so the base surface is defined. At that, I can define the, I can define the edges I would like uh, come along uh, so before I would like also to define the tool the radius of the fillet is about uh, 9 millimeters so I will define the tool equal and make the spherical meal. Uh, for example, this one, and define the holder. Okay. The next step. Uh, let's look. Two axis orientation mode must be normal to the base surface. We have the cylindrical surface as the base surface. So, in our case, we will have the four axis. Uh, normal orientation and the next step I would like to enable the tool pass projection uh, if the tool pass projection is disabled then the uh, radius level will be constant and it, uh, it is defined by these parameters if it is uh, tool pass projection is enabled then uh, the radius level calculated by using the 3D model and define the parameters. So the bottom level defines the distance to the base surface. It's very important. The top level is, uh, so in our case, the top level is 9 millimeters. It's the uh, depth of our slot and the safe <coughs> Safe plane, for example, 30 millimeters. Okay, and after that, I <coughs> can add the edges. So, I right now the faces and edges are highlighted. To highlight the edges only, I disable this button. So, right now, the edges only are highlighted. After that, make double click on the edge. In this case, all edges that connected smoothly are selected. So, a lot of edges are added and click curve to add the selected uh, edges to the job assignment. The next step, next step, click this one and maybe hold control to unselect this one and add it also and the next step click this one and well for this curve we need to define the we need to change I would like to for example change the side of mailing. OK, calculating the tool pass.
Well, let's have a look on toolpath. Curve one. Make toolpath visible. Go this way. Make a machine visible. And make speed slowly. Walk this visible. Okay, another curve. Yes. The sequence of machining depends uh, on the way how it is defined in our list. So I can take, for example, let's have a look at it. Uh, the first curve this one, the second is this one, and the third and the, this. It is better to what is it? I would like to remove this edge. Yes, it will be better. And uh, this is not good. Okay. It is possible to take and move it, and take this one and move it also. Very good. And uh, it is possible to change the sequence of the job items. Okay. One moment. This one. After that, I would like second, and the after that, third. This will be third. Okay, recalculating the tool pass. <coughs> well, let's have a look at it. Mm. Okay. Okay, we can play with it. So right now I can add another edges in the same operation. For example, this one. Uh, the depth of the slot is different for this curve. So I and select these edges and. Add it. After that, add it. For the last stage, I would like to mm, change the direction. Right side. Okay. So the direction can be changed also. And the last edge, this one, divide this and this and this. Oops. Add this curve, change the direction. And the last edge, for example. Okay. And to machine another slot, 
the, and the changeable changeable diff of the slot I will use another operation with the same tool uh, right now I calculate this one it takes some time Okay, tool pass is calculated. We can check the in the simulation mode. Preparing the workpiece after the first rotary machining operation. Very good. And the next step play slowly. this one I didn't change it the direction of machining we can play with it also well and we finally I would like to machine uh, this slot, for example. Well, let's stop in this video. I recommend you to make it yourself. Uh, thank you for, for your attention. Bye.